So hello everybody, it's a pleasure to be here. 200 universities with 1.7 million students. 54 universities with 900,000 students. What do those numbers have in common? What do those numbers mean to you? The first one, over 200 German universities are using Moodle as central LMS. Adding Switzerland and Austria, there are 265 universities using Moodle as central LMS. The second one, 54 member universities of the association Moodle and Hochschulen e.V., in English, Moodle at Universities. Those are big numbers. Today, I'm going to give you insights into the association and at the end, I hope you will be motivated to share your knowledge. My name is Klaus Steitz. I'm team lead for the e-learning systems at the Technical University of Darmstadt, where I introduced Moodle 15 years ago. For 10 years, I've been motivating Moodle University conferences and meetings. I'm co-founder of Moodle an Hochschulen and member of the executive board. Community. You all are part of the wonderful Moodle community. Community is pretty much about sharing knowledge, <coughs> helping and inspiring each other. For instance, this session's title is inspired by the shirt Martin gave some years ago to, to me, Empowering Educators. Empowering educators, providing a good learning experience for the students is important. As learning institutions, as uh, support institutions and service providers, there is a big and broadly shared uh, knowledge, but no one can be expert at any aspect. So it's important to share knowledge and connecting people. Also, there are a lot of there have been a lot of parallel developments on same or similar issues and no one to coordinate them that was the starting point for the foundation of the association in 2019 we started working on that idea in 2020 there was the big pandemic everybody overwhelmed with work 2021 finally we achieved the registration of the association with 29 founding universities. Today we have 54 university members. What are the purpose and aims? The obvious one, networking. We gather and share knowledge. We want to build a knowledge base of best practices. We want to reach synergies to recognize and minimize parallel developments, to share in-house developments with the community, and to apply individual members' strengths to the community. So we also want to identify the collective demands and to apply and address them. And of course, there are plugins we share and maintain 26 plugins, for instance, there's Boost Union, some of uh, you may know, or even listened to the session yesterday. And local static page is the most used one. It's uh, nearly 5,000 sites using it. Using it. <clears throat> we want to be contact for the German community and exchange with organizations at state, national and international level. We also have exchange with other learning management system communities like Ilias and StudIP. Together we formed open source LMS and sharing a declaration to strengthen the use of open source software. How we do it? We have a big Moodle course, including a lot of forums. We have working groups such as didactical, <laughs> development, server administration, um, H5P or accessibility. We use matrix channels. We also have one for that conference here. We organize yearly in conference, in-person conferences 
that is a great opportunity to get in touch and to share experiences. We organize workshops and ex expert panels, what we are blogging about. We are co-organizer of the Moodle Mood DACH conference. And we have a decision-making aid for potential members, summing up what it's all about and why it's a good idea to join the association. What are challenges? Time. All the community work happens on top of the daily business. Many community members aren't able to contribute as much as they want to. So there has be awareness that community activity is part of your daily business. Sharing work in progress projects, often it isn't known what is worked on and so it's a continuing task to remember people share what you're working on or what you've already published. All the good ideas and money are of little use if there are no development resources or to less development resources. So it's important to reach synergies and to bundle dev resources. All of the content the association has is in that Moodle course, also the forums. That is a closed one. Um, also, the password isn't that, uh, it's just Moodle Mood, but um, <laughs> it's not that secure. Um, we share uh, some of our content at our website. We want to build a knowledge base, but that's very time consuming and yeah, we, we want to do more in that way. What are the visions for the future? We want to continue to foster open source and the use of open source software, living openness and promote open education, promote also the creation and the supply of open education researchers content. Much can be done there. And we want to do more joint projects based on the demands of the community. A brief look at other countries. In Austria, there is the Academic Moodle Corporation. They also provide some pretty nice plugins. Switzerland has the Swiss Academic Moodle Community. <coughs> and Japan, the Moodle Association of Japan. Italy, the AUM, organizing the Italy Mood. United States, the Collaborative Liberal Arts Moodle Project. And in Germany, there's also a broad school teachers community and Moodle Schule as association. And they are all communicating using uh, social media Moodle Bande. Um, also, Frau Speckner is there. Some of her courses Marie showed yesterday. And of course, we have the Moodle Users Association that is in transition to the product advisory group. Here my take home messages. Share your knowledge and ideas. Use the Moodle forums. Engage in the community. Help each other to get in touch and let communities flourish. Some guiding questions for our discussion. What are your experiences with local communities? Do you know other communities? And what are best ways to transfer knowledge to the global community? I'm happy that you are part of the community and that session. Thank you very much. Does anyone have any questions for our lovely presenter before we head out to lunch? We've got plenty of time. Yeah, no rush. <laughs> no? Well, anything else you wish uh, to Tim, oh, Tim, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not a question, but I just want to give a shout out to Moot Dach, which I know you help organize. I went earlier this year, and that's the second time I've been. It's a really good Moodle Moot, and you don't actually need to speak German 
They have yeah. a really great. They have an even better Dev Jam than here because it <laughs> takes. It lasts for two days, not just one. Um, and that you can coat that sort of pretty much all in English. And the main conference is about half English, half German. So if you're looking for another cool Moodle Moot to go to, I would recommend Moot Dach. Thank you very much, Tim. Thanks. More questions or remarks? So maybe I, I have a question to you. Who of you uh, has already used the Moodle forms and asked a question? Please raise your hand. And who of you got an answer? So that shows how good the community works. Looks like everyone got an answer. <laughs> So, ah, there's oh, no. one more, Barbara. Um, I guess what were some of the main challenges that you experienced when creating this new Moodle community, and how did you overcome them? Um, yeah, as we are from Germany, <laughs> there were some administrative stuff to do. It's called a Verein in Germany, Eingetragener Verein. And yeah, that's some work to do to, till we reached, that we are registered at, yeah, uh, how do we say in English? Uh, Gemeinnützig, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> English word. Non-profit, thank you, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and um, yeah, and, and we had a good starting point with uh, our existing Moodle course of the community and it, it was, yeah, it, it, we, every time we got new members, um, the next members are on hold, um, Technical University of um, Munich will be member in soon. And of course, yeah, time, um, as I said, uh, all, you are always on top of your daily business, and that's why it lasted some time till we finished. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's one of the biggest issues yeah. that it's uh, hurting the community is part of our private time even if we're working full-time with these projects. And that shouldn't be the case. It's just like we developers are coding uh, every day and uh, documenting is moved to the evening, nearly lying in bed. And uh, this is a critical issue. Uh, community uh, actions should be part of the job and not of your private uh, fun evening. Alex also has a question or remark. <laughs> It's more a remark or an answer than a question. Uh, if you ask about the challenges, yeah. um, I think one of the challenges was to convince the, the bosses in the university that the university should become a member of the association. So it wasn't a question of money. The membership fee is quite low. Um, it was a question of time and what will be the return of investment. And that's why uh, the association has built up a white paper for the deciders so that they hopefully can be convinced to become a member. That was the one challenge from my memory. I'm also a co-founder co of the association. Um, and the other challenge was, if I remember correctly, to, to uh, get an agreement within the um, the, the founding members what the main targets of the association will be because we saw so many things which should be tackled within Moodle and running Moodle systems within German based or German speaking higher education institutions and the question was what to focus first should we do development should we fund uh, developing plugins should we find these uh, synergies um, to avoiding reinventing the wheel should we um, f uh, spend money on, on uh, pushing forward open educational resources you name it and you can extend this list even further and you can't do everything at once and these were from my memory uh, two of the main challenges
Yeah. That's all. Thank you very much. I have. Yeah.